Victory and defeat are a part of life, which are to be viewed with equanimity. These profound words by Atal Bihari Vajpayee, a titan of Indian politics, encapsulate his unwavering spirit and his enduring legacy. Born on Christmas Day 1924 in Gwalior, Vajpayee's political journey began early. As a teenager, he joined the Quit India Movement, a civil disobedience campaign against British rule. His affiliation with the Rashtriya Swayamsevak Sangh, a Hindu nationalist volunteer organization, also began during these formative years. In the year of India's independence, 1947, Vajpayee embarked on a new chapter in his political career. He was among the founding members of the Bharatiya Jana Sangh, BJS, serving as its president from 1968 to 1972. Following the BJS's merger with several other parties to form the Janata Party, which won the 1977 general election, Vajpayee became Minister of External Affairs under Prime Minister Moraji Desai's cabinet. However, his tenure was short-lived, ending in 1979 with the collapse of the Janata Alliance. The 1980s saw the rise of the Bharatiya Janata Party, BJP, with Vajpayee at the helm as its first president. A seasoned parliamentarian, Vajpayee served in the Indian parliament for over five decades, elected ten times to the Lok Sabha and twice to the Rajya Sabha. His parliamentary career was marked by an unwavering commitment to the people of Lucknow, whom he represented until his retirement from active politics in 2009. Vajpayee's tenure as India's 10th Prime Minister was marked by highs and lows. His first term in 1996 lasted a mere 13 days. He returned to power in 1998, serving for 13 months, before finally securing a full term from 1999 to 2004. During this time, Vajpayee made significant strides in domestic economic and infrastructural reforms, reducing governmental waste, encouraging research and development, and privatizing some government-owned corporations. Under his leadership, India carried out the Pokhran II nuclear tests in 1998, marking a significant shift in the nation's nuclear policy. Vajpayee also sought to improve diplomatic relations with Pakistan, traveling to Lahore by bus to meet Prime Minister Nawaz Sharif. Despite the ensuing Kargil War in 1999, Vajpayee remained committed to peace, extending an invitation to Pakistan's President Pervez Musharraf for a summit in Agra. However, Vajpayee's tenure was not without its challenges. The violent incidents of the 2001 Indian Parliament attack and the 2002 Gujarat riots threatened India's security and ultimately contributed to his defeat in the 2004 general election. In 2014, Prime Minister Narendra Modi declared Vajpayee's birthday, December 25th, as Good Governance Day. A year later, Vajpayee was conferred India's highest civilian honor, the Bharat Ratna, by President Pranab Mukherjee. Atal Bihari Vajpayee passed away in August 2018, leaving behind a rich legacy that continues to shape Indian politics. His unwavering commitment to democratic principles, his eloquent oratory, and his visionary policies have left an indelible mark on the nation. A poet at heart, Vajpayee's words continue to inspire, his actions continue to guide, and his spirit continues to shape the India of today. A titan of Indian politics, his legacy is one of resilience, vision, and an unwavering belief in the power of democracy.